guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a tour of the kitchen. I know I did a brief tour during the empty house tour, but I, for this video I want to take you all in detail about the kitchen, some of the choices that we made, and the rationale for the choices that we made. So I'm going to give you all a full tour of the kitchen. I'm going to be opening up some cabinets, some drawers, so you can see exactly the functionality of them and, and what we have put in place in those cabinets. But I want to let you all know that we do live here, so things are not as organized as I would like them to be, and if they're not Pinterest perfect, um, so just give me a little grace. Um, but if you come back in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing some more organization videos and show you um, show you all how I organize the cabinets and organize the drawers. But for now, I just want to take you all on a full tour of the kitchen because I've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of people talking about how they like the kitchen. So I thought, why not just go ahead and give everyone a full tour of the kitchen? So come a little bit closer so I can show you all exactly what's inside. Okay, so the first place that we're going to start is right here at the island. I mentioned before um, that this island is a pretty sizable island. It is eight inches wide and maybe four and a half, I'm sorry, eight feet. It's, it's eight feet wide and four and a half feet deep. So we have a lot of space. With it being such an expansive island, we were able to put some space on the back side. But before we, before I take you under the island, I want to mention these bar stools or these counter stools where because these are counter heights. I got these from Ballister's, or I'm sorry, Ballard Designs, and I have four of them. And these are performance fabric. I really do love these um, because if you can see the, the color um, of the, the metal here, it's like a brass goldish type. Um, look, so, so it's not one of it's not like a an '80s gold. It's not really gold gold. Um, it's more of a muted gold, which goes really well with um, some of the finishes that we have in the kitchen. So I'll show you what those look like as we go through the tour. But I wanted to make sure that I talk about these first. And I'm just gonna pull these out so you can see exactly what they look like. We did have like this footrest here, which it makes it extremely comfortable. So I'm pulling out another one. So right here, and I showed you this in a, in a, in a previous video when I was kind of organizing, um, <clears throat> organizing, the, organizing these cabinets. What I decided to do here is to put like my seasonal dishes. So I have some soup bowls, like some pumpkin soup bowls, and I have some Christmas decor, um, and some other Thanksgiving things or some things that I don't use on a consistent basis. And it has definitely been working out so far. And I just really wanted to make sure that we took advantage of this real estate because if not, it just would have been wasted space. So why not go ahead and take advantage of it and use this for, for things that we may not put our hands on quite frequently. And we also have cabinets on this side too. I won't move the I won't move the counter stools out, but I want to you know kind of point out that we have um, cabinets on this side too. And just in case you're curious, the color of these cabinets or this island, iron ore by Sherwin Williams. So it may come across looking black or blue on, on the camera. I'm not quite sure what it looks like, but it's like a very, very dark gray. Uh, so yeah, we decided to have something that was contrasting. We didn't want to have these this creamy color on the island. We wanted something that was going to pop. So we decided to go with a, a dark gray. So that's why we chose the Sherwood Woods Iron Ore. Okay, so we're going to walk around the island. And I want to show you all what's on this side. And it's kind of like a little galleyway right here. But <clears throat> it's not really a galley, but it kind of looks like one. But it's great for um, the functionality with the sink being right here, the stove right here, and also with the, with the dishwasher. So that's what I do first. I'll start with the dishwasher and kind of talk about the appliances. So we decided to go with the GE Cafe appliances. 
these are right appliances and a lot of people may have like a, a negative thought about right appliances because you know those were from the 80s or the 90s but white appliances are coming back i saw these maybe about two years ago um, this is before we even considered purchasing this particular house or building this house rather and i knew that i wanted these ge cafe appliances I've always liked white appliances because in our previous house we had stainless steel, no we had black. We had black appliances and I like stainless steel, but I wanted I wanted to make sure I wanted to make sure that I had these GE Cafe appliances. So this is the dishwasher um, and it does the deception job. So I'm gonna show you just what it looks like on the inside. We do have dishes in here, so just be warned. <laughs> So I wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside. So it's very spacious. And one thing I do like about it, that it has this top rack right here. So you can put, you know, things that you want to lay flat or we have like some spatulas, a, a, a top for like a, a kid's cup. So that comes into handy. You have like long utensils that you want to put in there. So I definitely like this appliance. I also want to mention in these controls right here, they're not on the front. So they are up here at the top. So you can just close it, press it, and it goes away. And you really don't see it. So I do like that it has like that hidden um, feature um, with, the, with the hidden controls. And I, what I'll probably do, if you all are interested, I'll do like an extensive review of the cafe appliances. Um, so if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll give like a more detailed review on these appliances. So let's move on. And let's talk about the cabinets. So for the cabinets, this color is Benjamin Moore Natural Cream. And this is at 100%. I know sometimes people, they um, dilute it a little bit, but we decided to go 100%. And there is a funny story about this. When I first saw this, um, this is before we had the countertops put in, appliances, it was just the cabinets. The, the, our cabinet guy had installed the cabinets. And I was definitely second guessing, like, I'm not sure if I made the right decision with these cabinets. Um, it just looked, it, it looked off. But once, you know, we got everything in there, I absolutely love them. So this is a natural cream. Um, that's the color of Benjamin Moore Natural Cream. So it's more of like a cream putty type um, color, uh, which I think goes really well, especially with the right appliances. And then for the backsplash, this is a square backsplash. It's a six by six and it has like three different colors. Um, so it gives it like a really nice dimension to it because it's three different colors. And it's like a little bevel too. Um, and the grout is like a cream. So it, it, it really pops. So we definitely love this, um, this towel. We thought about going with something that was a little bit lighter, more on the white side, but my husband and I, after we talked about it, we decided, okay, we would like to go with the cream. The cream looks a little bit, a little bit better. It's warmer. Um, and plus we didn't want anything that was going to clash with the white appliances. So here is the 36 inch range. Um, this is a gas stove. Uh, my husband and I, we love gas. We had gas at a house previously, and our, the last two places that we stayed have been electric, but we are so happy that we have gas now. And I forgot to mention, this is um, also a GE Cafe appliance. And here you can see that the knobs, I always forget the, the color of this. I think it's polished brass. If, if that's not the correct um, color i'll pop it up in the video so you can see it but it's polished brass and you can see that it has like the cafe emblem there and it has six burners um on, on this stove and it does have an oven right here and it has the three racks inside of the oven. we are definitely extremely happy with it thus far I haven't had any complaints as I said, if you all want me to do like a more detailed review, I can definitely do that on the appliances alone because I know that can be a video uh, within itself. So let me just open up some of these cabinets so you can see exactly what's inside. So for this side of the cabinets, or for this side of the stove rather, we decided to put like all our glass dishes in here. My husband and I sometimes we food prep, so these are like our food prep 
glass dishes. We have some dividers in there. And then those are all the lids that are at the top. Oops. <laughs> and in this drawer, we don't have anything in here just yet. Uh, probably think about putting like our knives in there. And I forgot to mention too, or, le or let me mention about the cabinets at the bottom. Although it looks like these are just like regular cabinet doors and when you pull it out, you know, it's gonna have like one shelf. And you know how you just, sometimes you just stuff, um, stuff things in the bag. We decided to do drawers um, instead of just having that one shelf. So on this side of the, the stove, we have all of our like our glass dishes. We have some more here at the bottom too. So this side of the stove is dedicated to our glassware. Okay, so on this side of the stove, this is where we have all of our white dishes. And I love, 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 love white dishes, especially when you plate your food, it just looks absolutely beautiful <laughs> and this is one of my favorites too this is a it's like a a bowl it's a huge bowl and i got these it's like for um a set of eight it's a set of eight and i think i got these from sam's they were on sale for twenty dollars so it came with the plates the saucers and the dessert plates and then some bowls like i use these for like salads and then these little dessert bowls, which you can use for like nuts or, um, or ice cream or something like that. And then we have some other white dishes um, at the top for like soups and some other things. So these are where the white dishes go. And I also want to mention too that all of the cabinets and the drawers are soft clothes. So let me just kind of show you here. So they're all soft clothes. Our kids definitely get a kick out of it, especially our little one. She just loves opening and closing. So since I have this open, let me go ahead and open this up so you can see. So this is where we keep all of our utensils. Um, I've started organizing this drawer. Still need to do a little bit of some more organization, but we think this is where we're gonna keep our utensils. In this cabinet, this is very similar to the other cabinet where you pull out the drawers and we decided to do like frying pans at the top and then some flat things um at the bottom so we have like some pans and then we have like this flat frying pan um, and a cutting board at the bottom so that has worked out perfectly and in this drawer this needs to be organized as well. We just have like some kitchen, some kitchen utensils um, in here, just some kitchen gadgets. So I'll probably follow up with another video which you showing you all how I organize the drawer because we have way more kitchen um, gadgets and utensils than what's in this drawer. I just need to pull them out the boxes and organize them. So in this drawer, this is where we have our pot. So now we're to like the drawers. Where in, in these drawers, the the second one here and the third one, they are pretty deep. And I'll show you how deep they are once I get to the other one. So this is like a pot. And it fits very comfortably inside of this drawer. So this is where we keep all of our, you know, like our sauce um, pans and um, some of our large pots. Now, so these are some of our big pots. So let me just kind of show you, give you an example. So this is my hand. And this is the pot and it fits right in there, no problem, it doesn't hit it. So that has worked out really well for us. And I'll show you what's in this cabinet. Uh, this is our glass and you're probably thinking like, oh my gosh, how many mason jars do you need? My husband has an obsession with mason jars. <laughs> he loves mason jars and we have them on each shelf. And what I think we're gonna do, since we have a lot of glass in here, I'm gonna move these plastic cups, do some rearranging to this cabinet over here. So this is just to be like our glassware, like our glass, um, our glass cups and things like that. So I think I'm gonna make some changes uh, with that and I'll take you all on that journey as I do that. So we're made, we made it over here to the stuff drawer. So here's some more of our kitchen utensils and gadgets that we have. 
Like I said, we have way more than this. Um, so I'm gonna have to organize this drawer, but it's a perfect place for them. Here is all of our lids that go to um, like our pots, our pans. We have a ton of them. I found this little thing right here where you can kind of stick your, stick your lids and it keeps it organized. But I won't be able to do that with these bigger ones because they won't, it won't close. Um, so I'm trying to think of a better way to organize these lids. It might, if anybody has any suggestions below, um, let me know. I mean, it's not bad because it's just, you know, easy just to lift one up to get to another one. But I want it to look a little bit better than that. And then last of the last drawer is like mixing bowls these huge containers that we have so we have our, like our mixing bowls and stuff down here so that has worked out um for us as well and this last drawer i'm sorry last cabinet is where we keep like our kids stuff this is like the the girls plates and their bowls and their cups and then this is our medicine cabinet so we have turned this this is officially a medicine cabinet so i'm trying to figure out a way to organize i'm still brainstorming on how to organize like this medicine these vitamins you know for all of the family i have some stuff right here um in a basket but still brainstorming so that's what's in this cabinet so we have moved over to the side the side of the refrigerator and these are our plastic um containers as I stated before, my husband and I sometimes we will meal prep, so we have things for like our salads. We have some water containers for like meals, um, and then just some containers, you know, to put like leftover food and things of that nature in there. So these are all of the plastic containers. And these two are like our junk drawers. I call myself trying to organize this drawer. I think it looks okay, but I still need to go in here and fix it up a little bit because it does need, you know, just sprucing up just a tad. And this is another junk drawer, but this is more so for like my husband's like coffee and tea. I'm not sure if I'm gonna move this over there to the butler's pantry. We'll get over there soon. I'm not sure if I'm gonna move this over there to the butler's pantry or leave it here. I'm still just thinking about that. And up under here, we decided not to do like the pull out drawers. We just decided to do the shelf because we still needed something for like these big items. Um, Cause this is like a rice cooker, a crock pot, a wok, you know, so we still needed some space for the, the big items. Um, and so we feel like this would be a perfect spot to have those big items and, and that has worked out pretty well for us. It's easy to just kind of, you know, put things in the cap. Here is the refrigerator, which is also another cafe um, appliance. And I want to mention about this refrigerator because um, this is not a counter dip refrigerator. Um, this is one of the full size refrigerators and some people prefer the counter dip. I actually prefer a counter dip, but when my husband and I, when we looked at the counter dip, it just wasn't deep enough for us. Um, it was also, it was gonna take like a year to get here. He still would have been here. Um, we would have ordered it during the time we ordered it, but we wanted something that was gonna be bigger. Um, and although it's not, it's not the, it's not flush with the cabinets, it just, it functions for our family. We just like big refrigerators. Um, but we did order some side panels that are the same color as the refrigerator because on the side is black. So those are on back order too. <laughs> they have not come in yet, but we did order like some white side panels just to see what that would look like. If we can um, take away like the side, the black, the, the black side of the refrigerator. But I just wanted to mention that because I know some people may be thinking like, why did they go? Why did they go? Why did they not go with the counter depth? Um, and they decide to go with a full size refrigerator. And plus we just love this refrigerator. Let me take you on the inside. So this is what the refrigerator looks like on the inside. And we love like how it's lit up in the back. Um, it just kind of looks like a, 
I don't know, it looks like a shopping mall or something. It's like an experience when you open up the refrigerator. And we love that it has like these these areas here to put like big things. We can fit, fit like a gallon size, um, a gallon of milk in here. This is like a quarter gallon or half gallon rather. Uh, but we can fit like a, uh, an entire gallon of milk in this particular area here. And something else I want to point out that kind of attracted us is this drawer. In this drawer, you have the option of it being a refrigerator or freezer. We decided to make it a freezer, I'm not a freezer, a refrigerator. And we have an obsession with cheese and I <laughs> you probably feel like, how much cheese do you <laughs> I didn't realize there was so much cheese in here until I opened up this refrigerator. But this is how we kind of keep ourselves organized. We have our cheese here, and then we have like our butters and stuff over here, and then we have like snacks, you know, for the girls and for us um, over here. So we have like our fruit cups and puddings um, on that side. And this is how you change the temp the temperature. You can either you know have a freezer, refrigerator, or you can have it like a chiller. I can, you know, chill wine in here too. So it works out wonderful. So if we want to convert this to like a freezer, we can, or we want to leave as a refrigerator, we can do that as well. But for right now, the refrigerator works out best for us. And this is the freezer part. And we like that it has like these, I guess these sliding shelves. Uh, so at the top, we keep like our frozen fruit. And then this one, we keep our vegetables, our frozen vegetables. And then this part right here is like missing. It's like a catch all like meat and french fries. And if you can come around this way, you can also see that we have like this little area right here where you can um, put in some other things. So we have like, some meat in here. <laughs> and before I move over to the island again, I did want to mention too, like with the counter with the counter deck refrigerator, I just didn't like I didn't quite like the design of it. It didn't have this extra drawer and the design of it just wasn't the best for us. Um, so we ultimately decided to go with the full size refrigerator and we do not regret our decision about it at all. And I must say these appliances were on the pricey side, but we decided to splurge in our kitchen. Not saying that we cut corners at any other places um, in our house, but we decided to elevate and you know put our money um, in our kitchen. And another thing I want to point out to you um, where we actually spent a little extra money is um, the cabinets. We went all the way to the ceiling uh, with the cabinets because at our old house, they did not go all the way to the, up to the ceiling and it was just a dust trap. <laughs> So we, we actually do have stuff up here. Of course, I can't reach it, um, but we do have like some things up there that we don't use very often. And another thing too, let me see if I can reach it. This has like a little space in there. I'm not sure we will be able to see it. I mean, I won't be able to put a whole bunch of stuff in there, but it's good that we do have that option if you wanted to put some things that are kind of slender. So, where we spent our money was the expansion of the island because we did expand the island. The appliances and the cabinets that went all the way to the ceiling, all the way up. So that's where we spent our money. So let's focus on the island really quick. The, the width and the depth, so eight feet by four and a half feet. And we have a quartz countertop. This is, the company is MSI. It's where we got the countertops from. And this is Laza, L-A-Z-A. -A. That's the name of the countertop. And it has like this real nice warm brown. And not necessarily brown, but it kind of looks like brown, but it's like a gray. Within it has like a brown or goldish type veining um, in, in the countertop itself. And it has been extremely durable. Um, of course, I love marble. I didn't want to have to worry about spilling grape juice or wine or anything like that. So we decided to go with um, the quartz countertop and we, we do like this one. Oh, we did splurge a little bit on the 
on the countertop as well, but we love it. So there's not really much to see here in the aisle. This is a regular cabinet, some drawers that, you know, we just have some miscellaneous stuff in with actually hardly anything in this drawer. Um, and this is where our trash cans are. We have two trash cans um, right here. And this is where we keep our cleaning supplies. Definitely need to organize that a little bit better, but for now it works. Um, and this is a farmhouse sink. I definitely wanted a porcelain farmhouse sink. I actually wanted a sink that was like 50-50, like so the same size for both of the bowls, but that was not in stock, so we had to go with the 60-40. I was a little disappointed because when after it was installed, because we didn't see it, after it was installed, I noticed that the divider for the sink is not very deep. So this is my hand and it doesn't even come all the way up to my hand. Um, it hasn't been like a real issue just, you know, thus far because I really don't do a lot of washing of dishes. I washed enough dishes when I was a kid so I don't want to wash dishes anymore. I use the dishwasher. <laughs> Um, so I don't wash a lot of dishes, so it hasn't been like a, a huge problem for us, but I was a little disappointed when I saw this. And it was just going to be way too much work to take it out and order another sink. So we said we were going to live with it for now, and it hasn't been an issue. And if you saw my previous video, the one right before this, um, you saw that we just got this installed, um, this new faucet, which kind of goes with the farmhouse sink thing. And... This is a chrome, which does not match any of the other hardware, but we have so much brass and gold and copper looking type uh, fixtures that I decided I wanted to break something up and chrome is like my second favorite um, metal. So speaking of that, I forgot to mention when it comes to the hardware, this is I'm not sure what the color of it is, to be honest with you, because we ordered from our cabinet guy, but it, it matches identically to the, um, the cafe appliances. So, and we picked this out not knowing what it looked like. We were just kind of going off of memory, so that has worked out. So, one other thing that I wanted to show you when it comes to the cabinets is this spice rack. So, this is our spice rack. I guess you can call it a cabinet because it's not really a rack. And I thought about, I said, maybe I should switch out all of our spices and put them in some real nice glass jars, but ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody, nobody is going to see all of our spices. They are nicely hidden. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if, if I'm going to do it later on or not because I do like the things to look nice and pretty. You know, it just makes me feel... Have, that's what sparks joy in me. But for right now, this is this would do. And we do have something very similar on this side too, but this is more so for um for our utensils. We have finally made it to the um, butler's pantry. And I briefly showed you all what this butler's pantry looked like in the moving day uh, video. I still haven't organized this yet, but that is definitely on my to-do list because I, I need to get this together. But these are all my pretty glasses, martini and wine and champagne flute. So I'm definitely ready to organize this with you all. Um, and then, you know, you saw these two, some of these plastic cups that I purchased in this, um, in this picture. But we do have open shelves, so we have three shelves. I'm going to put some things on the top shelf as well. Right now, I just have things on on these two shelves, the two bottom shelves, so I can reach fairly easy. And in the cabinet, I just have like some regular old glasses um, in the cabinet. Some, well, I would say regular old glasses. Some of them are kind of specialty glasses. And then I have, you know, some some bowls and coffee cups and teacups in there, which needs this needs to be organized as well. And then my husband has his Keurig machine here. I'm not a real big coffee. Well, I don't drink coffee at all. It just he just drinks coffee. And this drawer really don't have much in here, so I need to figure out what to do about that. And this is just a drawer 
that we have a lot of our glassware and there's some things I need to unwrap, some glasses I bought from home because I need to unwrap. And I'll do that with you all during our um, organization video for the Butler's Pantry. But we just have a lot of our um, like carafes, like our glass carafes in there. And this is our last GE Cafe Appliance, which is our beverage center. And with this beverage center, I'm gonna open this up so you can see it. It, it had, <clears throat> excuse me, it has two different temperature settings. Two two different temperature settings. The first one is the, or the top is for like wine, champagne. So that um, temperature setting isn't as cold as the bottom, which is for like normal beverages, like juices, sodas, um, water. So at the top, we have three shelves for each one. At the top, this is like for our wine. Don't have any other wine here, but at the bottom, this is where we keep like our water, juices, and you know, especially like our the juice boxes for um, our two smallest girls because it's very easy for them to come in here and just grab like their own their own beverage. So the next place I want to show you all is the pantry, which is right here. So I'm gonna open the door. Before I open the door, it is not organized just yet. <laughs> But I do want to show you all what it looks like. Um, this is going to be a video within itself, this pantry organization. Um, so here is the pantry. Just follow me in here. At the top, you can see that we have a lot of kitchen gadgets. We have blenders and mixers and um, cake pans. I mean, we, we have it all. You see, I try to do some kind of organization at the top, trying to figure out how I want things to look. But our food items are on like these three shelves and at the very bottom is just some other random stuff that I need to um, get together. But yeah, so this is a pantry. More than enough space for us to do what we need to do in here. Um, I can't wait to organize this a little bit better. So when I come in here, I just don't see a lot of food. Um, I mean, I'm still gonna see a lot of food, but it doesn't look like it's kind of disheveled, which it is right now. We're just kind of throwing things um, in here as we purchase grocery items. Um, but I can't wait to organize this, organize this space with you all because it definitely needs organization. And I'm so happy we're able to close this door and I have to look at it on a consistent basis. Okay, I'm going to close out this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I know it was maybe a lengthy video, but I definitely wanted to, you know, show you all the ins and outs of the kitchen. There were just a lot of things um, to show you all. And I definitely wanted to provide you all with some input and our rationale for some of the decisions that we made in regards to the appliances, the setup of the kitchen as far as cabinets and drawers, um, the comparison of the two. Um, I also want to give a shout out to my camera woman. Thank you so much. This is my big sister Jazz. Um, she filmed this video for me because it was going to be very difficult for me to film this by myself and you know pull my cabinets and, and drawers and things of nature. So I just want to say thank you to her. Thanks to you all for watching the video. If you could subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see similar videos like this and me kind of going through each room or or any particular room, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.